RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I'm glad you had this book. Me too. Goodness gracious. This is the first supplement that the 301 Things a Bright Boy Can Do is set out. It's of any use, anyway. Let's see. There's a lot about training. I think there's some of the illustrations in the back. Very important. The trouble is, if we're trainers now, we've got to learn all this stuff. Well, yes, but somebody's got to announce the fight. Somebody's got to referee it. And got to have all that. How's that going to work? I don't know. I can't do it. Me either. I'm my own fighter. I'm my own fighter, too. I'm going to... He's going to beat yours, too. No, he isn't. Mine's going to beat yours. He's going to win. We'll just see about that. Mine's a little uh, stronger, I think. Who are we going to have to announce the fight? Somebody's got to announce the fight. Well, why don't we just let him do it? No. How about Madame Oglepuss? Mm. How about Beulah Witch? Mm. Mm. How about Jack? He can't, because he's playing the piano. Well, we're not going to have any music during the fight. You never can tell. What about uh, Mercedes? No? She'd get in it. <laughs> it's true. Besides, she doesn't like boxing. She likes wrestling. What about uh, Colonel Cracky? Oh, no. <laughs> Never get the fight on. <laughs> He'd be making announcements all evening. No, he maybe we can let him referee or something, or be a judge. He could be a judge of the, of the fight, but not a, not a, not an announcer. That, that wouldn't be good. You have to have some fellow to be an announcer. But we need a fellow for him. Well, that's true. What about Fran? Hey, <laughs> that might be great. Let's call her in. Fran! Yes? Frank, could you come in for a second? Certainly could. How are you? Fine, you. Oh, great. We're real excited. Are you? Yeah, tonight's a big night, you know. No. You know, this is the semifinals tonight. The Kukla Bowl and Boxing Bowl. Oh, I... <laughs> My fighter's gonna win. My fighter's gonna win. Well, I'm sure it'll come out all right. Well, Fran, we, we need you tonight because, um... Do you like boxing? Well, I have nothing against it. Well, um... We thought maybe you would like to announce it. See, we'll have to have somebody announcing all the, all the, you know, the fights. Like you mean calling all the holes? Yeah, no, they're not holes. <laughs> That's wrestling. Well, these are, you, you have to, you, you know, have to call it as you see it, see? And then you, and you have to do it. Couldn't you do that for us? You have such a lovely voice, and I think it'd be real intriguing for a change to have a girl do it, don't you? Yes! Well, I'd like to go along with you, but I don't know anything about it. I don't know a K.O. from a checkmate. I don't think I'd be of much value to you. Just what we have here. Something Charlie Andrews sent over. Art of boxing and science of self-defense. The first supplement of 301 things a bright boy can do, and Charlie Andrews got it first. I see. Tells how to, uh, tells how to announce a fight, does it? No, no, it just tells a little bit about fight. You know, like training. And, well, it tells, it tells all about it. It gives you the whole inside. Don't Manual of training. Yeah, Special a... diet. Mm -hmm. Then it says, Thus then you will do well to commence by swinging a pair of Indian clubs. So, well, maybe the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Braves. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It says it will loosen the shoulder joints, expand and open the chest. Well, let me see. Then it says, look your man full in the eye. Well, I've always been in favor of that. <laughs> Guess I could do that, all right. But then you're not fighting, Fran. No, no, you're, you're just going to announce well, it. Well, I, I want to know it from the ground up, because if I don't know it, how can I announce it? That's true, too. That's true. Yeah, well, that's true. Perhaps I'd just better learn it. Well, it looks to be a very complete volume. I should... Sit. Now it says, as you enter the ring, it is a good old English custom to go up and shake your adversary heartily with the gloved hand. And I think that is a capital way even for friends or pupil or teacher to open the bound. But that's true. Yes, well, I can that's do true. that. Yes, I can do that. I think I'll go right up and shake you by the nose. <laughs> <laughs> then another thing is the stance. That's a very important thing. That's true. That's what I've been working so in my fighter for a stance. So says, how often have I heard men say when looking on 
at an amateur performance with the gloves, by Jove, that fellow's feet are always getting in his way. That's an important thing to remember. Yes, I, I should tell that to my fighter, because he has a little trouble. Then, <laughs> let me see. The draw or simple counter, straight counter. Well, I'll tell you. Couldn't you please announce it? It just looks to me as though there'd be too much material for me to learn in, in the short time allotted me. I know, but I'd like it if you could. Well, let me see. There must be somebody. Couldn't I get a fella to do this? We really we should. We tried everybody, but Jack's busy, and all the boys in the crew are busy. They have to work on the show. Well, but you are fellas asking another fellow. Maybe if I ask him, they'll do it. She's got a point there. <laughs> Why don't you do it? Would you try? But if you can't find anybody, would you do it? Oh, yes, I, I will if all else fails. Okay, well. Okay, I'll see you. I'll all see right, what I can do. Well, we got to get our fighters trained now. Well, I'm going downstairs and get mine rubbed down. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, I don't feel much like a trainer at the moment. I guess I better go get my trainer's hat on. <laughs> okay, bud. Get into a little training here. Fine. Feel in good shape? Great. Let's see your gloves. Ooh. Nice. Wilson made these specially for you, didn't they? Okay, let's see your stance. No, 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 you're not protecting yourself at all. Keep your right up in front of your face. Lead with your left. Come on, let's see how you do it. Come on, buddy. That's better. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, you can try and hit me. Go on, try and hit me. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're no good. <laughs> Look, I'm your trainer. I'm not fighting with you. All right, now, how about a little road work, a little, uh... You know something would be very good for you right now? No! <laughs> a little shadow boxing. Excellent for you. Said so in that book. I'd like to see you do a little shadow boxing. I'll go downstairs and get a pail of water and some things so I can be ready for the fight. No. Keep in trim. You gotta win tonight, Cecil Bill. I got a lot staked on this match. My whole reputation. And three jelly beans. Oh, no rhythm? Jackson, do you have a little rhythm over there that he could, uh, for shadow boxing? <laughs> There, now watch it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's good. Thanks, Jack. Thanks very much. That's great. Okay, that's enough of shadow boxing. Now, how about a little uh, real hard workout training, huh? How about a little workout with the punching bag? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't you practicing on the punching bag? 
Where did it go? <laughs> you really did? <laughs> Get busy. Honestly, you should have had them laced on tighter. What's the matter with you? Oh, well, come on downstairs and let me practice a little harder. Honestly. I sometimes wonder whether it's worth it or not. Who really cares who wins? I don't. <laughs> Just as long as my ears don't get injured. <laughs> for the sound of the bell. Here I am. Yes, sir. Here. Up, up. No way I'm your trainer. Well, I'll get carried away. How about the punching bag? Have you worked out at it? Oh, is that what that is? Well, no. But I will. <laughs> Pretty clever. I'm trying to, Kukla, for heaven's sakes, gracious sakes. <laughs> What's going to happen to the mailroom while I'm doing all this? Never mind about the mailroom. This will get you in good training. Now, I'd like to see you do a little something with the bag. I'm just punching the bag. This is something different. Oh, dear. What's this going to be? Oh, gracious sakes. Not that. Yes, that. Well, all righty. Where do we put it? Oh, just a minute. I'll let the thing down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Handy. Guy hook. All righty. Pull it up. Now what do I do with this? Punch it. Harder. Harder. Ow! Watch it! <laughs> well, you wanted it hard, didn't you? Tackle it. Well, I'm not doing football. This is box. Ow! This is boxing. Go on, tackle it. All right. Oops. Don't know my own strength. <laughs> oh, honestly, Fletcher, huh? we've got you've got to win this fight tonight. I have a lot at stake. My reputation and three jelly beans. I'll win for you, buddy. I'll win for you, but this is my last fight. I'm through then. I'm retiring from the ring. I'm going to have a little chicken ranch out in the West. <laughs> I want to live a simple life. I'm tired of all this falderal fights. Girls, all this mad pace. No, sir, I want to quit the ring while I'm still healthy. Never been in it before. I know, but I just learned a speech. <laughs> Seven. Well, let me see, what should we... Friend, he said something about... Did you find anybody yet, friend? Yes, I have him all ready. I think he's ready. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when the fight starts. All oh. right. Oh, did you say anything there about... Uh, about uh, Oh, I'll say, Ollie, could you raise that up, please? Okay. I'm doing it for your fighter, which is not right. Never mind. 
Um, Fred, didn't you say something about the wonderful footwork and the... And the oh, yes, yeah, that's very important. Very important footwork. Footwork, very important. Fletcher? I'm weightlifting. Come up here. All righty. What was it? Oh, let's see. Gee, that's great. You haven't seen anything yet, kids. Watch this. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Fran. Hope didn't get too close. No, no, she's all right. Good thing I just read that lesson on ducking. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Here we go now. There. There. Anything else? Yes, I want to work with you on your footwork. Okay. Now, Fletcher, rhythm is a very important thing. You know that dancing is very important. That the uh, uh, skipping rope... Skipping rope? Oh, gracious, that, that's really kind of silly. Full-grown rabbit like me, skipping rope. No, no, it's a very important thing, skipping rope. Uh, you know, Jack Dempsey and all the great fighters, Joe Lewis and all of them, they do a, have a great great deal of respect to all these great fighters, all from all the time, a great deal of respect for fancy footwork. See, that, that keeps you bouncing around, and you really can, you really have to... You mean sort of like dancing? Well, it's not like dancing, but it's a little bit like dancing. And uh, as a matter of fact, Madam Ogopus approached me with a very interesting idea, and I thought maybe we, we could try it. Why, uh, yes, if you, if, you, if you really think it's going to help me win the fight. Sure, it's going to help you. Now, here's, here's what you do. Uh, you go downstairs. All righty. And when I tell you, you come up here and I want to see you work out with a little fancy footwork. You bet. All righty. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, now, <clears throat> uh, Madam Ogopus suggested that it would be a very good idea. Oh, hey, come here. I think this would be good for your fighter, too. Okay, Coop, what is it? Madam Ogopus suggested that for footwork, uh, it would be very important if they did a little uh, dancing. Oh, cool. They can skip rope. No, this is very important. Madame Ogopus is very interested not only in the physical uh, culture aspects of the Kukupalton players, she's interested in the cultural. She has our side, and I've got mine. I uh, prefer the boxing at the moment. Yes, I know, but this is, uh, this. she wants to include the cultural with this. Now, you remember in our little RCA Victor 45 records, uh, we had some very wonderful symphonies and ballets. Oh, yeah! Sure. I remember some of those wonderful things that Mr. Toscanini recorded. Kukla, when did he get here? Yeah, pretty soon. He'll be here on tour very, very soon. Just relax. Now, <laughs> we have the, um, I was thinking we have the, um, this, this wonderful album. Oh, the, uh, oh, yeah. Isn't this a fine recording? This is the, the verse Munkato. The what? The verse, the ver, the ver, the vertimento. That's what I said. By Mozart. Oh, that's fine. Mr. Toscanini directed that. Yeah, and then there's... Now, there's this we could use, too. Oh. Oh, Mr. Tchaikovsky's Manfred. Oh, that'd be fine. Yeah. Gee, these are all such wonderful albums, Kukla. All coming to the 45s, too. Yeah, you bet. The... Oh, yeah. Symphony Number no. 3 by Beethoven. Whom? Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah, that's what I said. What else have you got? Well, there's Mr. Haydn's Quark Symphony. Oh, see, Mr. Toscanini certainly has made a lot of records. I'll say that again. Mr. Toscanini is certainly... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Parsifal. Well, that's very lovely music, but I don't think that would be exactly right for footwork. I don't think so either. Very beautiful, though. Oh. Uh. Chloe. I didn't know he did the popular songs. <laughs> no, this is different. This is, this is that, Miss and Chloe. Oh, by whom? <laughs> Ravel? Ravel. Oh, that's nice. Well, how would that be? I don't, I don't think that's quite lively enough. I think we should uh, try something like um, the Mozart. All right, Coop, whatever you say, I'm glad to cooperate. We'll make my fire any better in his footwork. Let's try it. You put it on, Coop. Okay. All right, here it is. Get the little 45 all warmed up. Okay, boys, get up in the stage. Come on, get up there. Do 
Doei, doei, doei. 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 Doei, doei, circuit coming on here just a yeah. few seconds we'll be on the air just okay a few seconds. i've got my fight card already they're already i think to go and just, just about yeah yeah you already you bet yeah. uh good evening ladies and gentlemen this is dave garraway we're at the ringside at madison's square garden and i'm happy to tell you that tonight the finals of the cucapolitan golden mittens are going to be broadcast both radio and television in front of your pretty eyes our fighters are about to appear, and the terrific roar of applause and uh, understanding that you'll get from the audience is what you might expect from the audience here at Madison Square Garden. I want to introduce, first of all, in the left-hand or northeast corner, that uh, nautical nemesis, the terror of the ocean waves, the only kind of his man in the world, Mr. Cecil Bell. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're supposed to go over in the corner, Cecil, right, right up against it. Now. Just sit down and get very calm. And um, Cecil Bill weighs in tonight at 124 ounces. That's <laughs> two ounces um, over his opponent, who will now appear wearing... Uh, gee, I don't know what he's going to be wearing, do you? Better find out. Gray. Gray. Gray tights in the northeast corner, Mr. Fletcher Rabbit. Fletch weighs in at 120 ounces, two grams. The toothsome terror himself, uh, they call you the bunny buster, don't they? You bet. Um, and the nautical nemesis will go three rounds for the World Golden Mittens Championship of the Cucopolitan Tournament. The uh, first round will begin as soon as you hear the little old bell. You understand about the rules? Uh, you bet. Come to the center of the ring, then. You bet. Shake hands. Do, do, do. You know all about the Marquis of, uh, the Marquis, uh, what's that Marquis' name? Canterbury. Marquis of Canterbury. <laughs> and you're already to, to uh, retire to neutral corners now. You right bet. And, and uh, sound the bell when the bell's going to sound. Good humor. Come out fighting. And they've come into the center of the ring again. Cecil Bill leads with a left and a right. And Fletcher Rabbit is in there with a left and a right and a half left. And a right upper cross cut. Uh, Ra Fletcher. No, that's an illegal punch. That's a man punch. Rabbits aren't allowed to use that. <laughs> and they're breaking, and they come back now, and there's a right upper cross half cut, which touches Fletcher on the, on the tip of his left ear drum. Whoops. <laughs> I'll retire to a neutral corner. Oh, that's it. And they come up. Well, that's the end of the first round, and the boys will take a little deep breath while uh, a little water is poured on the uh, poor little heads. Uh, taking such a big beating. There's a great deal with that fighting, you know. It puts a big strain on the heart and on the brain. It's, uh, what do they call it? Uh, noble art of self-defense. You feel noble tonight? Uh, round two. Round two. 
Uh, fellas, um, just hold it just a minute. The newsreel cameras want to take this one in slow motion. <laughs> you, we do slow motion, you know. You go to the movies and you see the slow motion, and somebody has to take that. So we'd like to take one round in slow motion right now. <laughs> we could use some Mozart, I know. Whoops. And he swings on him with a very gentle mazurka. Hits him with a gavat and comes up with a TK. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. You two will never be the same. Round two for Cecil Bill. I figure now in my referee count card that the uh, points for each match are exactly even. Four and a half to four and a half. And the winner of the third round will no doubt be the Cuckoo Golden Bin champion for next season. And they're coming out now. Ah, uh, Cecil Bill hits him with an airplane spin, and uh, I said an airplane, airplane spin. That's Put one of the blows hit. And now Cecil Bill's coming out with a hammerlock. He hit him with a hammerlock. Almost. Oh no, Mr. Garraway, that's not. That was a wrestling term. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, now they come out with a flying mare, no. which is got him by the Immelman turn there on the left. Oh, oh no, Mr. Uh, Garraway, you have your terms. That was a right to the jaw. Oh, I was a. Um, Keep fighting or I'll disqualify. <laughs> and you're going to hit him with a hairlock now, which has got the stranglehold where the full oh. Nelson came in. The oh, no, sir. No, that was a right, another right to the jaw. You don't believe What's you that? Want... Right to the jaw? Right to the jaw. You know, right to the jaw. Is that a boxing thing? Right to the jaw? Well, Define this right to the jaw. Well, yes, a right to the... Well, step closer, Mr. Garraway. A right yeah. to the jaw is something like this. Let's show him, huh? Garden. <laughs> a very good hobby on a rainy day is to plant plant a garden. Very good. Fun! Yes. <coughs> what happened to da Dave? Since that Garraway got a commercial, he spends half of the time on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you can cover that thing too much, you know, Dave. <laughs> Take it easy. Well, Wasn't he wonderful? He was great. I guess that ends the big tournament for today. Thanks, <laughs> Dave. You're wonderful to come in. Oh, he was real great. I wish he could hear us. <laughs> he gives could the too. soccer a real mean punch. Well, there's only one thing I can say now. To everybody. Remember in television, it's RCA Victor. <laughs> Tilstrom. I just spoke to Cecil Bill and asked him to thank you for me. And all he would say was, tui, 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 tui. I guess that means thanks on behalf of all the Kuklapolitan characters. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Get your RCA Victor 45 records now at your dealers. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.